Welcome to Robin's Roost. Today I want to show you a fun technique um, using a stamp to create a watercolor background. Um, you're using the stamp in not quite the way that you would uh, normally expect to use it, but it makes a really pretty soft background. So I'm going to show you the card to begin with. Now this is actually a card that I'm making for a swap that I'm doing within my demonstrator group. Swaps are a really fun thing that demonstrators do to um, share creativity. So, you know, I get, I, I make 16 of these cards, send them out, and I get 16 different cards back using different stamp sets that I might not have and different techniques that I might never have done. It's, it's a really fun way to, um, to share creativity. So for this card, we're going to start with some of the watercolor paper. And let me just flip my um, camera here. So I'm starting with a half of a piece of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper, which you can purchase um, on my store. So it ends up being five by three and a half because they come in five by seven sheets. So we're going to use the water mister and we're just going to um, spritz this. We want it pretty wet, but not like water sitting on it. If you get a little too much, like here, I, I'm not sure if you can see it in the in the camera, but it looks like it's um, pooling a little bit. We don't want it pooling because then our, our ink will really run. So you can take a paper towel, or in my case, a Kleenex, because that's what I have here next to me. And we'll just dab that up a little bit. So we are going to start with, with balmy blue. And we're going to create the sky using the um, the tree uh, stamp, which is a, like an evergreen tree. Get it nice and clean. We don't want the green on there. So there are two different stamps that layer uh, for this tree. One is a little bit bigger and fuller, kind of a background. And this is the top one. And we're going to actually use the top one. We're going to go ahead and ink it up. And see how that how that starts to run it's just perfect that's that's the way you want it to look and you're gonna go like a third to halfway down with the blue now this side over here is getting a little bit dry I'd like it a little wetter than that so that it runs but it'll be fine if you um, take too long doing these they get a little dry too then we want to clean clean our stamp in between and now hopefully this is still wet enough and we're going to take our soft succulent which is one of the new in colors and I absolutely love these new in colors this year the greens are just awesome for uh, nature cards like this one and we're just going to go ahead and stamp our trees this is kind of like our forest in the background and you can go up into your <clears throat> into your sky a little bit you know, so it kind of um, blends together. And then we are going to set this off to the side to dry really well before we do any more stamping on it. So before we start stamping again, we want to make sure that our, our stamp is clean because we're going to be using some different colors with the same stamp. So we're going to bring back in our dried um, piece of watercolor paper that's all ready. We have a background all ready on here. And we are going to start with some granny apple. Oh, wait, first we have to put our trunk down. We're going to start with cinnamon cider. Getting ahead of myself here. We need our tree trunk, which we're going to put kind of to the right side of the card a little bit. We'll do our trunk and then we have a little ground strip to kind of ground it so it isn't floating in space. And then we're going to take that bigger background um, evergreen stamp. We're going to ink it up with the uh, granny apple and go ahead and stamp that over a tree. 
Now the the watercolor paper is rough, so your stamps are never going to be quite as crisp as they would be on like our, our basic white paper. So keep that in mind when you're using watercolor paper. If you don't care for that look, that, that kind of rough look, you could always switch to the, um, the shimmer paper, which also can be used with the spritzing. You just have to be really careful not to spritz too much on that. Now on top, we're going to use the Evening Evergreen, which is another of the in colors. This is the other one that I just love. These two colors, the, um, the succulent and the evergreen together on nature themed cards are just awesome. So this is the same stamp that we used to do the background. And we're just going to layer it up on top of here. And that gives us our tree. Whoops. And then we're going to use that same color before I put it away to do our greeting. And this says, friendships refresh the soul. And I thought this was just the perfect stamp to use for swap cards for my fellow demonstrators because their friendships definitely refresh my, my soul. They've become great friends over the years as I've um, stamped with them and gone on retreats. If you are interested in finding some creative friendships, I would highly recommend joining Stampin' Up. Many of us are not, um, we don't make money at this. We do it for the friendships. And it, it's just a great group of people. So that, that's a recommendation I'm going to give you today. So next, we are going to layer this onto a piece of the evening evergreen that has been cut to three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So you want a quarter inch bigger than your than your top piece. And I am actually going to use the liquid glue, if I can find it, to adhere this on to my base. And you don't want to get, you know, gobs of the glue. You just kind of want to put a thin layer all around. We're going to go ahead and layer this on. Now, sometimes when you, when you have the watercolor paper, it really curls if you've gotten it a little bit wetter maybe, or, or just because it was wet. And what I like to do is I like to take one of my large um, background blocks and just set on it while it dries. It, it works really good for holding them down. So once it's dry, we're going to put our ribbon on it and this ribbon is actually available in all of the new in colors. It is a open weave ribbon that is three eighths of an inch and I just I like ribbon that's three eighths of an inch or narrower. So it's just to me it's just the perfect ribbon. It's light, it's easy to tie knots in or bows and we are just going to tie a knot in this one because it's a it's a natural card so I don't want like a big bow but if you wanted a bow you could certainly do a bow as well and I'm having a hard time getting this little bugger okay sometimes I can tie things and sometimes I can't so we're just gonna snip off the tail and I like to tie my ribbon before I cut it off my my um, Oh gosh, bobbin? That's not the right word. Spool. I don't know. It's just a habit I've gotten into. It, and then I'm going to cut this other one just a little shorter too because I got it a little too long. So then we are going to layer all of this onto a soft succulent card base. Like I said, I really am liking these colors. So I'm, uh, I'm pulling them in full time on this card. And then... Because my, in order to get two pieces out of my Fluid 100 watercolor paper, it's actually a quarter inch narrower than I would normally cut it to layer. So I have cut a quarter inch strip of the um, designer series paper from this suite. And I can't remember the name of it. It's Friendship Earth something. 
it will be on my blog. So I'm going to put this strip on the edge of here just to kind of fill in that space. And it actually it gives it kind of like a um, book spine look when you do that. It's kind of a, a layout that I have used, used to use a lot where I would do the um, book spine on the edge. I'm just going to, oops, I'm not going to glue that under there. Glue it down just a hair. Another thing I like about the liquid glue is that you can kind of move stuff around a little bit better than you can with the um, snail or the um, stamp and seal plus. And since I seem to always get things crooked, that's a good thing. I should, probably should have had this down a little bit further, but that's where it's going to be. Okay, so we have that on, and then we're just going to put a little strip of this on. The trick with the liquid glue is to um, not use too much. It definitely is. It works really good, but you don't want to get gobs and gobs of it. There. So there is our card. It's just a very pretty soft card. And I love that that background and you've used just the one stamp set to create that background and your trees so it's like a way to stretch your stamps use them in ways that that are a little bit unique so for the inside of that card and the one that I'm sending for my swaps I've added a piece of basic white paper that is three and a half by five stamp the greeting on the inside you truly inspire me with the evening evergreen and then added a half inch by three and three fourths inch strip of the designer series paper the same as i used on the front you know that same paper for the inside just to give it a little bit extra so i hope you enjoy this technique and give it a try if you want to purchase supplies to make this card, I would appreciate if you would head over to my store um, and support my, my addiction. My link is below, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.